for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Working Woman Wednesdays on That Business Show. Now with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Each and every Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., we highlight members of the Working Women of Tampa Bay networking group. And as always, you can learn more about them over at that website, workingwomenoftampabay.com. Jessica Rovelli, CEO and founder of the organization, joins me on the phone line this morning. So, Jessica, good morning to you. Hey, good, good morning. morning. And also, let's also remember, Kelly is over here now, Jessica, so you got to say <laughs> hi to Kelly good. as well. That's why I didn't say good morning, Jamie. I said good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Jessica. And so, Jessica, you got a, an event uh, around the corner here, uh, Think Pink. Let's uh, just begin the discussion with that. Yeah, so we do a holiday gift market every year. Um, it's usually at, uh, right after Thanksgiving. It's called Think Pink. We have between 50 and 60 of our of our members who set up um, and they sell everything from jewelry and makeup to, you know, a lot of stuff that you maybe would find on Etsy. So it's a great way to support women business owners and to shop local during the holidays. It's at Ruth Deckard Hall. There's food samples. There's usually, you know, little mini spa treatments. So it's a great event to, you know, even if you're not a member of our organization, um, and you want to just come out and network, or maybe you just want to come out and shop. It's just a fun event to bring your your mom, your you know, your sister, your coworkers. We usually have about two to three hundred women who come out um, for a couple hours, and it's uh, December first from six to eight at Ruth Eckert Hall. Plenty of parking and tickets you can find on our website. Okay, and you're currently looking for vendors, sponsors, things of that nature. How does all that come together? Yeah, so you do have to be a member to be an exhibitor, or vendor. Um, and we are, you know, we also do have sponsorships available too. And the the vendor price is, is only seventy five dollars. So um, if you're a member, it's a great deal. And we also do combo packages. So if you're brand new to our organization and you want to exhibit, but you're not a member yet, there's a great price to become a member and exhibit at the same time. So we'll do that over the next like week or two, and usually. You know, a couple of weeks before those um, those vendor opportunities sell out. Okay, and so it's a vendor marketplace, uh, just a evening event. What were the hours again? Six to eight. Six so, to you eight. Know, just kind of something fun. You head out after work and. It's a Thursday night this year, so a great you know opportunity to kick off the weekend. Okay, I think I was at that uh, two years ago. I remember uh, getting some uh, some chicken dip from uh, Think Pink a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh so, yeah, yeah. That, the Bubba the Bubba's yeah. chicken dip. Yeah, I well, remember I some of that. Get on those those folks. I know the gal who's <laughs> who owned that. Actually, I think works for Melting Pot now. We'll have to check in on the chicken dip folks. They they were a lot of fun, and that it was delicious. It was. Like buffalo chicken dip. Who yes, knew? and as you can see, I remember that two years uh, uh, after that. So definitely left uh, left an impression on myself. So tell <laughs> uh, tell us about our guests we have in studio today. We got uh, Katie Cappy, who's the president elect of the uh, Junior League of Tampa, who's in studio with us, alongside of uh, Janae Scarl, who is the owner and designer of Old City a Calligraphy Company. So tell us a little bit first off about the relationship with the Junior League. Yeah, so you know we do think pink, but the Junior League does the holiday gift market, which is an amazing market that they do out at the fairgrounds. And I'll let them really fill you in on the specifics, but I think they have 150 vendors. So it's, it's like our event, but you know, on steroids. Um, <laughs> and they do this program called YEP every year, which is the young entrepreneurship program. And they, um, and they, they um, do an application process just like we do with our foundation with the seed money. And so we, we partnered this year because we, you know, in our effort to want to give a boost to women small businesses, you know, we started raising money, um, and it's usually about 500 to to $1,000 that we give. And so we met with the Junior League and said what we would like to do is you already have a young entrepreneur that you award with an exhibitor booth at your um, at your holiday gift market, what we would like to do is also write her a $500 check that she can use for inventory and and to you know be able to have as much as um, a much as many products to sell at the gift market. So we were able to award Janae a $500 check a couple weeks ago, and and the gift market is just um, a couple weeks away, which they'll fill you in on. But just an exciting partnership. I mean, we we realize there's so many amazing 
um, organizations like the Junior League um, that are here in Tampa Bay that are having an impact. And part of our uh, mission of our foundation is to be able to help those um, organizations like Junior League do what they do too. So the fact that we are able to partner and give Janae a little bit of money to, to help her even more with the holiday gift market was awesome. Yeah, that is great. It's wonderful for, for so many different organizations to really be giving back and being involved with the community. And so, yeah, thank you, Jessica. That's great. Now, what other events do you have on the horizon? Is, uh, is it all uh, a go for uh, Think Pink, or do you got some other stuff uh, ahead of that? I know you got your coffee connection oh, that yeah, go on. Oh, yeah, there's always something. So today, you know, we're at the Holocaust Museum for um, a coffee and a tour. Um, and so next week, is, uh, we're, we're touring the new Evolve Personal Health. You've had, um, I believe, um, Vim and Chitra on the show um, when uh, Sharon Feckety used to be on. And so they, ha- they finally opened their new beautiful um, concierge health practice in South Tampa, so we have a coffee there. Um, and then we're doing some great workshops. Danielle Vona, who has been on the show several times with you, mm-hmm. um, is doing a marketing a 2017 marketing plan workshop at the end of the month. I think that's November 29th. And that, um, I think, is already like, you know, 30% sold out just because Danielle's amazing. And we only have, I think, 24 spots for that. So that should, that should, um, that should uh, sell out pretty quickly. And then we start wrapping up for the holidays because even I need a break. <laughs> I know. It's still hard to believe it's November. November second, and like they were right. talking about, you know, the holiday markets and the different things that that are just quickly approaching. It's yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, well, I went. I made the mistake of popping in Walmart yesterday, um, <laughs> <laughs> just to run in and grab something, and they are already like a hundred percent Christmas. They even had the the um, like the North Pole looking things like on the front of their <laughs> front of their store. So they must oh, have wow. done a quick turnaround between Halloween and. And Christmas um, on uh, two nights ago was I, amazing. I had stopped in probably, I don't know, three weeks ago at the beginning of October to pick up some potting soil out of the like patio thing at Walmart. They already had all of the Christmas trees set up. I, I thought this, you know, a <laughs> wow, little too soon yet. Crazy. But Jessica, for people that are not familiar with uh, your organization and they would like to join, how do they go about that? Yeah, so um, you just go to workingwomenoftampabay.com and you click join and it's a short application. Membership is only $120. As Jamie said before, you don't have to be a member. I mean, you don't have to be a business owner to be a member. Um, we, we have both working women, corporate women, and we have small business owners in our group. And then once you become a member, you get discounts at all the events. You get um, your profile inside our online directory, and you get access to our online directory. And then at the beginning of the year, which is we'll be here before you know it, we print a, um, a printed directory, and so if you sign up between now and February and you choose an annual membership, you'll automatically be included in that annual directory, which, which is great. Just one more um, opportunity for exposure, for especially for women small businesses. All right. Well, Jessica, we appreciate the uh, support that you give the uh, show and also to our community and all the uh, professional women out there. And so, again, thank you so much for what you're doing. All right, guys. Have a great show. And again, Jessica Ravelli, uh, CEO and founder of the Working Women of Tampa Bay Networking Group. Learn more about them over at workingwomenoftampabay.com. Coming back for another break, we're going to be talking to Katie Cappy, president-elect of the Junior League of Tampa, alongside Janae Scarl, owner and designer of Old City Calligraphy. So a discussion about calligraphy. I've not had one of those discussions on the show before. So looking forward to talking about calligraphy throughout the uh, show as well. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project then contact jaeger and company incorporated a family-owned state certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the angie's list super service award for the last eight years in multiple categories jaeger and company comes to you with their shop at home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the bay kitchen and bath design featuring american-made well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees not subcontractors learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 
4757. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Computing.com. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas, unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on that business show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941 201 4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855-VEIN-911. That's 855 855- 834-6911 to book your free consultation. Bain 911. We will help you feel great again. Good morning, so traffic on westbound I-4 between the Plant City area and McIntosh. Also seeing those delays on westbound I-4 between 301 and 50th Street. Minor crash on southbound 56th Street at Harney and a crash along southbound US-41 at State Road 52. Southbound Veterans Expressway slow between Gun Highway and the Courtney Campbell Causeway. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich. Hillsboro traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Do you live in a historic home? Are you renovating? Your children could be at risk of lead poisoning. It takes just a microscopic amount of lead dust to poison a child. Learn more at leadsafeamerica.org. Partly cloudy, a 10% rain chance. High 85. Partly cloudy tonight, low 67. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, a 10% rain chance. High 84. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. 
Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to the Working Woman Wednesdays feature of that business show. Now with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Time to bring in our guests for the uh, program. Again, we have Katie Cappy, president-elect of the uh, Junior League of Tampa. And you can learn more about her throughout the discussion at jltampa.org. And also Janae Scarl, owner of Old City Calligraphy. And learn more about her services at oldcitycalligraphy.com. So ladies, welcome to the program today. Good morning. And Katie, I will begin with you. You're the president of elect of the Junior League of Tampa. I'm not highly familiar with what the Junior League of Tampa does, so let's just start with that. Sure. So um, we are an organization that has actually been in Tampa for 90 years. Um, we celebrated our 90th anniversary in April of this year um, and are continuing the celebration throughout this year. Um, we are 1,900 women strong, um, all volunteers, um, and our mission is three-pronged. Um, number one is promoting volunteerism. Number two is developing the potential of women. And then um, at the heart of it all is improving our community. Is this a national organization or is this something that is just in Tampa? No, it is a national okay. organization. Um, so there are actually about 254 junior leagues um Throughout the United States, London, and Mexico. So, and it was founded some a hundred years ago. Um, our our Junior League of Tampa was founded ninety years 90 ago. Ninety years ago. So, so I imagine yes. the organization was founded around that same time. A lot of organizations don't really stretch past back past a hundred years or mm -hmm. so. And so, nineteen hundred members in the Tampa Bay region, all volunteers. And so, what are some of the, like the projects and community events that you are known for getting involved? Sure. In? So we have fourteen signature projects, and they all center around um, child welfare and education. Um, so on the child welfare side, we really work um, with um, the continuum of kids in the foster care system. Um, we have projects with kids that are entering the foster care system. Um, oftentimes they are taken right out of their homes. So we have a love bundles program where we're giving backpacks to those kids so that they have um, some of the necessary items they need, some clothing, some books, just some items that they can call theirs um, in such a disruptive time. We do several mentoring programs. Um, How difficult is it to place foster children in today's uh, uh, market out there? Because I remember growing up in West Virginia, there's the children's home, and a lot of them, you know, you know, we felt bad. You know, we picked them up; they didn't have parents. But if they're babies, they place a lot easier, correct? But if it's they're like seven, five, six, seven, eight, that's a little bit more difficult to it find. It can a home? be, yes. Um, and we're very fortunate. We have several um, community partners. Uh, we do a lot of work with Eckerd. We do a lot of work with um, Heart Gallery, and really, they are the driving force behind behind working with the kids um, and getting them placed in home. So we're just kind of a support for those organizations. How um, many children or do you know are without homes that are in the foster care system in Tampa right now? I, I, d I don't know that answer, um, but I do know we have one, um, one of our projects that's been a longstanding one is called Kids Connect, where we actually are working um, with kids that are in the system um, meeting prospective families and hoping that we can make um, some forever matches. And during the duration of the project, we have actually had over 100 adoptions that have come out of that um, of that project. Um, yeah, I had looked and researched the, the organization. I think it's great, everything that you do, and, and you know, the market. How many years now have, have they been doing the market each, each holiday season? So this is going to be our 13th year, um, and the holiday gift market is our largest fundraising um, event that we do and all the net proceeds go right back into supporting the mission that I had talked about so yeah this yeah, is number it's a great 13. event I had actually reached out a couple years ago and wanted to be a part of the junior league and unfortunately I guess I had just hit 40 oh <laughs> and they said, no, I'm sorry. yeah you're not you can't join but and I was is, offended <laughs> so there's an age requirement in the junior so league. there is and the reason behind that is you know um, we really focus on training and the idea is that we're training our volunteers through all aspects of, of community um, and leadership and that the idea is they will then go back out into the community and serve on boards or serve on other organizations um, and be able to utilize the skills that they got in the Junior League of Tampa to go out and um, yeah, because I know you're more you focus on the development of, Very of the much woman so. and getting you know, and I know what guess once if you're in before you're forty, then you're in, you know, but you just can't join after. <laughs> Is that how that works? If you're in before forty, then you can mm -hmm. stay in for as long as you want. Then, you yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so they don't we, toss you out at age forty. Then. No, <laughs> okay. no, you move from an active membership into a sustaining membership. Okay. So right. yeah. So this uh, sounds like it's a good stepping stone into getting involved in the city and the, in the community in general. Maybe if you want to go into like you mentioned boards or politics or something like this. So 
the junior league is one of those good stepping stones to getting into that. It is. It's a great one. You know, we've got with 1900 women, we've got people who come in for a lot of different reasons. I know when I first moved to Tampa, I'm not from here. Um, so it was a great way to kind of have a group of like-minded women um, who I could meet people in Tampa, learn about the community um, and kind of be able to get your um you know your hands in a lot of different yeah, find buckets. out who the players are and everything mm-hmm. did you come into tampa from out of the out of the area i did yep. i'm yep. i did i um we i moved around my dad was a navy pilot so um so tampa was a new a new landing pad for me and the junior league helped you get uh situated and find out you know the connections are who could help you out in the community that's right then. yes right. yes so so. how many years have you been involved this is my 14th year, so wow. yeah, so I've been in for um, quite some time, and I've loved it. Yeah. Um, no, it lots- seems like a wonderful organization. Yeah. So I've heard nothing but wonderful, wonderful things, you know, throughout the community. So, how do the different memberships work with the junior league? Again, it's all volunteers, correct? All volunteers, okay. yes. Do you have different levels or involvements? Uh, we do. So we have um, the first year that women come in is kind. Of, it's called their provisional year, and that's just the opportunity. Um, that we give members to learn about what we're doing, um, to get involved in a project, um, and just to know to know who the junior league is. And then after the first year, you're considered an active, um, and your active membership can last um, up through the age of 45. And um, you know that's the time when women are uh, doing their volunteer hours. They're getting exposure to a lot of our different projects and fundraising events. Um, and then getting this this training, um, we do um, not only just our leadership training, but we bring in different speakers who come in and touch on issues that are going on in the community, um, or perf- you know things that they can use in their professional and personal lives um, for future development. And Jessica mentioned uh, the uh, the Yep What Young Entrepreneur program that yes, it is. Yes. Tell so us a little bit more about this. Yeah. So that's um, directly tied to our holiday gift market, which is next weekend. Um, and the Young Entrepreneurship Program is where um, we are recognizing women entrepreneurs in our community. Um, and we are giving them an opportunity to have a booth at our market. We have over 150 merchants. So this, the winner of the Young Entrepreneurship Program has a booth where they, they are spotlighted with their product. product. Um, and we're hoping to kind of be a launching pad for them um, to grow their business. And that's Janae who had won so that? So this is Janae this yes, year, yeah. So she won it. How do people uh, for the future get involved in this and register and know about this? So there's an application. Um, and if you go online to jltampa.org, um, our ho- if you look at the holiday gift market section, there will be um, an application to be a part of the Young Entrepreneurship Program. And it's open to women um, 40 years and younger. Um, who are the majority owner of their business. Okay. And your relationship with Working Women of Tampa Bay, how does that come about? Um, so because of this Young Entrepreneurship Program, we have very similar missions in, in the entrepreneurial spirit and developing um, women. And so they were um, aw- they awarded our Young Entrepreneurship winner um, grant money as seed money so that when they were getting ready for their booth for Holiday Gift Market Weekend, they would be able to have the supplies and inventory that they needed. Yeah, that's great. And now you're serving as president-elect. Yes. So when does uh, elect mean you're not president just yet? So when's your term? Not yet. So July 1st of 2017, we want run on a one-year one year for the offices that we hold. First time in a leadership position with the uh, Junior League? No, 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 not the first time. I've... uh, been around the exec board table a couple times so yeah all right well let's take a break coming back from the break we'll uh, talk with uh, janae scarl who is the owner of old city calligraphy and also recipient of the uh, seed money that you had just spoke of at the uh, young entrepreneurship uh, program and again also talking to katie cappy president elect of the junior league of tampa learn more about their services at jltampa.org you're listening to the working woman wednesday's edition of that business show with jamie and kelly where business becomes show business
Hi, I'm Kelly Ham from Dillmeyer Ham Consulting. Did you know that one of the biggest challenges that leaders face is getting their employees to be engaged, motivated, and producing amazing business results? At Dillmeyer Ham Consulting, we'll help you transform your workforce culture from one that might be underperforming, maybe mediocre, to achieving amazing business results. You see, we realize that your workforce culture is equally as important as your business plan and your business strategy. The two must be aligned in order for you to reach your desired business and financial goals. Carol, um, hey Jim. I just got this, uh, this plan that could really help with our process here. Okay, why don't you just have a seat and let's go over it. Let us help you transform your workforce culture by leveraging your most important assets, your people. I want to know what's going on in your organization. Let us help you transform your workforce culture. Let's have a conversation. I feel guilty that I can't always be there when mom feels stuck at home. She was always there for us. But now she can't get out and I'm not always available to take her places. Someone else needs to help her get around. Then I learned about home instead. Now mom can do what she enjoys because her personal caregiver is there. And I can just be a daughter again. Are you struggling to care for your loved one? We can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Think It Up. Hi, I'm Nick Jonas, and I'm here to tell you about Think It Up, a new initiative to activate student-powered, teacher-led learning projects. Students and teachers, how can you spark great learning experiences in your classrooms today? Join us at thinkitup.org. 1250 winds, weather center forecast, high today into the mid-80s. We'll see increasing clouds, breezy conditions, and small chance for a few isolated showers today, upper 60s for the low. Mid-80s once again tomorrow. We'll see the little front move in Friday. That'll bring some showers again. Low 80s, then mid-upper 70s through the weekend and sunshine. Impact Radio, 1250 winds. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly where business becomes show business. If you ever are wondering how to uh, get on to the uh, program, a couple ways to do that. Uh, joining the Tampa Bay business owners is one of the uh, member benefits. Also, you can come in through the Working Women of Tampa Bay. You just got to talk with uh, Jessica and be a member of the organization. Or you can fill out the uh, request form over at tbsinterview.com, and you'll see the uh, requirements over there. And also answer a lot of FAQs. So, again, visit tbsinterview.com. Let's bring in our next guest for the program. We have Janae Scarl, who's the owner and designer of Old City Calligraphy. And you can learn more about her at oldcitycalligraphy.com. So, Janae, welcome into the program today. Good morning. Awesome. Thank you for having me. And you also are the recipient of the seed money from the uh, Junior League. So, yes. first off, tell us a little bit about that experience and what that means to you as a young entrepreneur. Okay, yeah. Um, well, I applied for the Young Entrepreneurship Program and... Um, Really wasn't sure that I would get it, but thought I would go for it anyways. And when I received it, I was very excited. It came at a really great time for me. I was looking to do this full time, and I really needed that push. And it's been um, a really great opportunity for me because through the Junior League, I've met some really great women um, who, you know, have not only become friends, but have been a great opportunity for my business. Well, and they help guide and push, and it's great to be surrounded by like-minded people and women, you know, and especially those that have, have already been there and done that in a sense, too, where they can kind of help mold you, you know, and, and help you get on your way. So it was great that you had the financial support, but also emotional Absolutely, you know, support yeah. as well. So. <laughs> That's one of the things we don't talk about too much with me <laughs> is the emotional support of entrepreneurship. I mean, is that a component of uh, of your businesses, you know, having the emotional support alongside? Yeah. Um, yeah, we all have it. I, of course. Yeah, we're women. <laughs> but yeah. I well, think. even men are, you know, you have emotions. You just don't maybe yeah, no, it, it's acknowledge not them. But I mean, whether you're mad or angry or happy, you know, those are emotions. Yeah, I guess. I know it's not something I really touch on because I'm not a highly emotional individual. And so I'm more logical thinking and stuff. So, yeah, when I'm hit with emotional responses, I kind of tend to shut down and stuff. Well, yeah, it's not business, one of my strong points. Business people, most of the time we do, whether we're female or male, it is just kind of what we do. But but nonetheless, especially when you're older and, and or younger, I mean, and, and kind of evolving into entrepreneurship. And, and seeking it you know having that support whether it's emotional you know mental yeah I'm, <laughs> financial I, I'm, I'm, it I'm all a, it all works i'm one of those people that when somebody comes to me with a problem i'm kind of like the 
man, just get over it. You know, I mean, I don't. I, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm terrible with that, so don't ever come to me for emotional stuff. I'm I'm very bad with that. If you need something that if you need something that needs to get done, then come to me. I'm your guy. I was that. I was <laughs> complaining uh, one morning with Jamie about oh, I think different things, uh, graphic design delays, this or that. You know, as as a business owner, multiple things can all happen at once, but you're used to it. You just deal with it. And I kind of looked at Jamie and I'm fussing. And he just looked at me. Do you need a hug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably about as emotional as I'll get right there. So yeah. I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, going back to the collision. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Before winning the, the seed money and, and a great thing that Jessica Ravelli and her organization has done in teaming up and, and, and giving you that opportunity. So are you excited about the, about the market then coming up? Yeah, I'm very excited. I've been making things, I think, since like June or July. I've been just making as much as I can and I want to make sure I have something for everyone. So it's been a lot of work, and we're really excited to set up our booth and get ready for the market next week. So why calligraphy? Well, I've always had um, a really strong desire to do lettering. You could look at my notes um, growing up in class. I think I drew more notes than I paid attention to my <laughs> classes, but I've always really loved lettering. And um, when I was getting married two years ago, I was looking for a calligrapher, and I couldn't get answers back from calligraphers, and I was like, you know, I could probably do this myself. So I watched YouTube videos, and I taught myself how to do calligraphy, and at first I was terrible. It's a lot harder than it looks, and I would just keep practicing. And um, Is calligraphy just one form of writing, or is there multiple types of calligraphy? There's definitely different types of calligraphy. I focus on modern calligraphy because I don't really like the whole old-timey looking calligraphy. So I focus on modern calligraphy. <laughs> Um, but I also do hand lettering too. So a lot of my stuff is on wood signs and cheese boards and prints. Mm -hmm. So it's not just calligraphy. I do a lot of hand lettering. Um, and for people that aren't familiar, I mean, what defines something as calligraphy? I mean, is cursive writing a form of calligraphy, for instance, it's or no? It's not, um, but I love cursive writing as well. I don't think they teach it in schools anymore. Yeah, I was wondering that earlier. Yeah. If they still um, teach that stuff. It's with a dipped pen. You dip the pen in the ink and you write. So it's a little bit more specialized writing. Okay, so you got to use the old the old school you technique. You can't just use a regular old pen to do it. Then. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's, All right. it's the dip pen and There's ink. There's no eraser. Right? <laughs> There's no eraser. There's no I'd be in trouble. Eraser. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that wouldn't work too well. Yeah. Been messy, I would think, too, as, as you're yeah. trying to master and that. And especially for me, I'm left-handed, so when I write, I always have the ink on, you know, the side of my hand, always. Yeah, I always feel no bad for left-handed that. writers. That's a challenge. It is, is you know, yeah, they but write. it can be done. If you're left-handed and you want to do calligraphy, you can do it. Now, you mentioned that you're a modern calligraphy artist. What's modern versus uh, old school, I guess, if you want to call it that? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, since I taught myself, I pretty much, you know, I use the techniques that I learned, and um, I call it modern because it's the new way to do calligraphy to me. So, um, so you're you're treading a new territory here. You're you're a pioneer then in the calligraphy. Yeah. Mode. So yeah. Okay. Well, so it'd so. be like bringing an old school concept, but into like a modern today's more hip version right. of. And of I think it's really important to use your own style writing. So. You don't have to like learn calligraphy and do it the way that they're telling you to do it. It's, it's all about making it, you know, how it works for you. And this all stemmed from your background just as a, uh, a student. You love to doodle and everything. I was the same way. I never <laughs> took notes in class. I would sit there and draw like, you know, uh, you know, faces and stuff. Kelly saw me doing that the other day in <laughs> a class. I was sitting there Yeah, drawing. you weren't paying attention to the conference we were I'm at. Paying He's attention. drawing photos or uh, pictures of. No, I'm listening. No, I am listening, but I do doodle. I'll, I draw different characters and faces, and I'll have whole notebooks full of just different creations. And I'm by no means a great artist or a drawer or anything. They're, they look stupider and something. They anybody <laughs> can create them. But that's what I would do in class. I'd have whole notebooks full of all kinds of doodles and everything. Yeah, so, so you might be interested in calligraphy and maybe, don't even know it. <laughs> maybe. What were you creating in class? Were you doing faces and uh, things? Or yeah, I was doing more of the lettering, and my friends would ask me to write their names on their folders and, like, the fancy letters. So... Um, I was more focused on the letters more than like the, the faces and the cartoon characters and, and whatnot. But um, I've always really loved lettering. Yeah, And so then you saw the opportunity two years ago uh, leading up to your wedding. You were looking for a calligraphy artist. You couldn't find any that were meeting your needs. You said people weren't returning your calls. And so was that when you launched your business or was it after That's, the wedding? How did that come Yeah, together? so I didn't launch my business until a year ago. Um, I, it started with my wedding, you know, I did my, my envelopes, my place cards, my table numbers, that's that kind of stuff. And um, my friends would ask me to do their weddings, and then they'd be like, who did your wedding? And then their friends would ask, so it kind of grew unexpectedly. And I thought, you know, maybe I can make a thing of this. And the more responses I got, 
you know, the better I was able to make it into a business. And then, like I said, a year ago, I, I started it as a business. I was still working full time, um, but I really had a passion for it. And I thought, you know, I really could make this a full time job if I just get out there and, and meet more people and have you tra- transitioned now into full time? I have, as of September fifteenth. Oh, I'm wow. doing this full time. Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. What was you. your uh, job before? I was a project manager in energy. So project manager it's in energy. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine so. Yes, the life of an entrepreneur very different than a corporate. We were discussing that in the uh, seven thirty spot, as a matter of fact, with uh, Christy. So, how has your experience been this the first for the, throughout the first year? The um, throughout the first year. So, yeah, it's been a good experience. I would say through the junior league program. It's really been that great push for me because, like I said, I was looking to do this full time. And as of just this past September, through the program, I've met a lot of of women that have been interested in my services. And I was like, okay, I think it's time. You know, the market's coming up. Um, So it's been a great time well, timing you're surrounded by other like-minded individuals which which it's great to help yeah. inspire because a lot of times i know in my experience when you have family and different people around you that tell you you're crazy you're not supposed to necessarily have you know you're not supposed to like what you do you're just <laughs> supposed to have a job and make yeah. money. you know it, it it's great to have that support it so is it really is how do you charge for your services and how does all that come together everything um it, it depends on the project like envelopes have a set price and then if somebody wants like a custom sign those are typically more like I have a lot of signs that are just you can take, you know, I make them and you can buy them at a certain price. But if you want something customized, it's a little more. So my pricing does vary, but um, like the envelopes and place cards and table numbers, those are all pretty standard. And uh, at what level? Web- I was going to say, do you have a website? I do have a website. It's oldcitycalligraphy.com. And um, you can just send me a message through there and I. To what, give quotes. to what degree do people allow you to have creative control? Because a lot of people don't know much about calligraphy. So if I say, create me uh, wedding envelopes with calligraphy, I, is that pretty much all they tell you? Pretty much. I get a lot of pictures from girls that want certain looks, but a lot of brides and, and even not brides, just birthdays and stuff like that, they they really do give me control, which is great because I am creative and I can if you like you know give me an idea of what you're looking for, I can sketch it out for you. And now you're also a brave soul because everybody goes into anything related to wedding planning. They either they a lot of them have turned run and run. Yeah. Yes, I've talked to many people that are event planners, and I ask them about weddings. No, I don't do weddings. They either do or they don't do weddings right. and stuff. So I, I commend you for being a brave soul and dealing with all the uh, brides out yeah, there. Yeah, talk about emotions. <laughs> <laughs> have you dealt with any bridezillas yet? I really have. I've had really great brides. I haven't had anyone that has given me a hard time. Yeah. Well, I guess give it enough time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so, don't run for the hills. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your foot uh, in position. You're good. How long does it t- take them to create like a, a typical, you know, uh, say a, a set of envelopes for like maybe 100 guests or something? Is it time guests, consuming? I usually say give me two weeks. Yeah, I typically only do like between 15 envelopes at a time sitting down because i mean once you do any more than that like your neck it's you mm-hmm. just get tired and you, i mean is it a really a slow process as you're cra- you're slow. not just you're writing like you no, write traditionally. you don't write like you're regular writing it's a slow you write a lot slower so it takes a little bit more time and what's the history of calligraphy was this uh, just something artists you know uh, started Great doing question. or where did it originate or from? do you know or what I've, was it? I don't. I just remember hearing about it growing up, and I've always known what calligraphy is. But is there a history behind it? I don't really know. So. Right. Yeah, I know that there is a history. I don't know a lot about the history, but. So how did you get connected then with the Junior League of Tampa then? Um, actually, my mother-in-law was telling me um, a lady who was in Junior League was telling her that I should apply to the program, and I'm not from here. I'm from St. Augustine, which is where Old City mm-hmm. comes from. Um, so I'm new, newer to the area and she was like, apply for the program. The junior league is a great organization. And she actually was telling me about the program. So, um, and then I have a couple of friends in junior league as well that encouraged me to, to start, um, applying. So it was. And it helped you also get connected, as uh, Katie was talking about in the uh, uh, her segment there, about making the connections in uh, Tampa to really help you uh, out, uh, you know, in your professional career. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the girls have all been so great and welcoming, and I've gone to several meetings and set up, you know, a booth so they can get an idea of my products, and they've all been really great. Now, who else would use your services? Wedding uh, invitations uh, come to the to forefront, but who else would, uh, you know, benefit from, you know, calligraphy or what events would benefit from yeah, this? Yeah, so since I do a lot of hand lettering, too, I do a lot of first birthday signs for little girls and boys, and... Um, Special occasions, I've done a lot of uh, birthday parties for older adults, too, 50th birthday signs. Um, We do a lot of unique 
gifts too where um i've done some anniversary gifts for people so it's it really it's all customizable what whatever you're looking for we can do now are you still uh, a one woman uh, business or have you trained people uh, in this uh, field as well yet it's just me but just i do right get a lot of help from my husband who helps me do a lot of the woodworking for because my as signs. you expand and you're going to teach I was, others i was going to ask that question you do you have a plan for the future as as you grow and is there are there plans for that i really don't have a plan yet but i can <laughs> see how it can how i might need well help. and i think that's important too to have a plan to know where you want to go and where where you're going and some you know guide pretty much yeah. to, to take you there and if we don't have goals set forth then then we don't know if we reach them so well, she right. looks pretty young you got plenty of time to yeah, uh, yeah. find the path I, and everything so, so i commend you for uh, starting a you know a business so uh, early in life so commendable for that let me uh, take a break here currently you're again talking to uh, janae scarl owner and designer with old city calligraphy learn more at oldcitycalligraphy.com also alongside katie cappy president elect of the Junior League of Tampa. Learn more about them, jltampa.org. You're listening to the Working Woman Wednesday's feature of That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 4757 Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Computing.com. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas, unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941 201 4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. 
You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855 Vein 911. That's 855 834 6911 to book your free consultation. Vein 911, we will help you feel great again. Good morning, crash at Almerton and 49th Street. Also, a minor crash on the Courtney Campbell Causeway near Ben T. Davis Beach. This has traffic slow from before the big bridge, but it is off to the right hand side. Heavy traffic on the southbound side of the Veterans Expressway. It is slow from just south of Gun Highway to the Courtney Campbell Causeway. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich, Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866 545 9595. This report is brought to you by Positive Coaching Alliance. If you're involved in youth or high school sports, you need to know about Positive Coaching Alliance. PCA, a national nonprofit organization, develops better athletes and better people. PCA workshops help coaches, parents, and student athletes pursue winning and life lessons through sports. Visit positivecoach.org. Partly cloudy, a 10% rain chance, high 85. Partly cloudy tonight, low 67. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, a 10% rain chance, high 84. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly where business becomes show business. Talking to uh, Katie Cappy, president-elect of the Junior League of Tampa and also Janae Scarl, owner and designer of Old City Calligraphy. Learn more about them, oldcitycalligraphy.com and jltampa.org. So the holiday gift market is just around the corner. So when does that uh, officially start? Yes, so it's actually next weekend, um, Thursday, November 10th through Sunday the 13th. Um, This is our 13th year of doing the event, and we're thrilled to um, welcome back Publix as our presenting sponsor for the event. So... Um, and that is at the fairgrounds out at the Florida State Fairgrounds in the Expo Hall and new this year um, Thursday night we're doing a preview party so it's an opportunity for the public to come and get a sneak peek before uh, doors open to open to the masses so how many people are you expecting Uh, so we're definitely last year we had over 16,000 shoppers so we're hoping for that and more this year so congratulations that's great and this is you mentioned earlier it's your biggest fundraiser or junior league right it's our biggest fun our our biggest event fundraiser that we do and 100 percent of the net proceeds go right back into the work that we're doing in the community and then how many days does that go on for so it'll be the Thursday night preview party, and then we'll be out there from 9 to 6 Friday, 9 to 6 Saturday, and 9 to 5 on Sunday. Great. Is there a cost of tickets or people? There is. Okay, how's There's, that work? Um, you can go to jltampa.org and um, get tickets that way, or you can come to the fairgrounds day of and buy tickets at the event. Um, $8 for tickets. Our Friday event falls on Veterans Day this year, so we will be offering um admission to military um, free admission to military and be running different specials throughout the weekend um, for them as well um, in Very gratitude cool. for their service and then Janae will be there with her calligraphy also right <laughs> <laughs> will be and that's what in the earlier segment she was talking about needing to get you know all of her inventory up with with over 16,000 shoppers coming through the door she's been hard at work making sure that she's ready to go for all the <laughs> all the Right. Inventory right. people will be. So out. will you be able to do things on the spot there for the guests that are there? Or will you have to, will it take a couple of days? I guess it depends what, what they're asking for. Or what? I have some things that I'm planning on doing on the spot that they can order, customized little small things. But most of our stuff that we're making is ready-made um, home signs and, and gifts that they can take home with them that day. If they Why? do want something custom, we can make that. Why does it take so long to create just like something like a name or an envelope? You talked about it being a very slow process. Why is it that it has to be so slow? Um, with because the, there's no eraser. <laughs> yeah, with the calligraphy, it's just the technique that you have to go slow. When you go too fast, you get splatters all over the paper. Okay. It gets caught on the paper, so it's just a slow process. And you uh, you talked about some uh, workshops that you would, are doing. Tell us about this. Yeah, so starting in January, we're going to be offering our cocktails and calligraphy classes, which are going to be social classes where you can come and learn. It's going to be two hours of instruction on um, how to learn, how to hold the pen, all the different techniques on how to do it. Um, and we'll provide 
the, the little kits, everything you need. So you just have to show up and enjoy some cocktails yeah, and learn like calligraphy. Great idea. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do you need to use certain types of paper for calligraphy to be uh, uh, effective on, or can you just use any old paper that you buy in the store? You can use any paper that you buy on in the store, but it it's definitely not as good as some specialty papers. Like, yeah. what do you it recommend? Would bleed yeah. through too, wouldn't it bleed? It through? bleeds through. It runs. Yeah, and it, like I said, the the nibs are the little tips of the pen they get mm-hmm. caught on the paper and rips it so they're specially papers notebooks that you can get at calligraphy stores um yeah that I've are seen for them. calligraphy yeah. yeah very cool are you gonna start calligraphy Jamie? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know it, just, it looks you interesting should. and stuff i do <laughs> like to i do like to uh, create you know different things and everything do you get involved in, like computer generated designs or is it I all have, just yeah style? so i have been doing a lot of computer um where i letter i scan it i clean it up and i i'm doing some digital um, printing of my calligraphy so because digital life is everything these days so um yeah and you're also involved with the working women of tampa bay tell us a little about your involvement with them and how you got involved um yeah so jessica with working women of tampa bay i met her th- actually through the junior league um she gave old city calligraphy the 500 hundred dollar grant this mm-hmm. year which we're very thankful for um and she's just that organization's just been wonderful too because it was a big help in getting supplies for our booth and i'm not actually in the working women of tampa bay i've never heard of it before now because like i said i'm new to the area well, but now you are definitely, so jessica's yeah. going to be giving yeah. a call after the show definitely <laughs> uh, um, something to look into another great yeah i like the name too old city and especially since you know knowing now that you're from saint augustine yeah I think a lot it's of, very fitting and yeah. then the calligraphy being more of a historic, historic form of writing right so, yeah no yeah very it goes cool. together yeah a lot of people are like why is it called old city calligraphy and um i just I liked it because it's from my hometown. It's Perfect. Old, yeah. Very cool. All right, Janae Escarl and Katie Cappy, uh, both uh, thank you so much for being in studio thank here on this Working us. Woman Wednesdays. Thank you. And again, learn more about them, oldcitycalligraphy.com and jltampa.org. And also more about the Working Women of Tampa Bay at that website, workingwomenoftampabay.com. And you can learn more about our program at tampabayradio.com. And if you'd like to uh, request uh, coming onto the uh, program, you can visit tbsinterview.com. Again, tbsinterview.com. And then you can come out to the event tonight and to also the main, the main event. event you're invited to uh, send an email to jamie at tampa bay radio at the center club 5 to seven thirty. our monthly uh, membership meeting we should have about 100 people in the room although we may be affected by game seven tonight some people may <laughs> hold out for that you've been listening to that business show with jamie and kelly where business becomes show business